Hi there, welcome to LearnClickQ.com. In this tutorial, we'll go over match function in ClickQ. Uh, match function is a ClickQ equivalent of in operator in SQL. So, as I've, I have illustrated in this example, if uh, I have to find employees with title of president or vice president, I would write something similar to select star from employee where title in um, president and vice president. <clears throat> um, this equivalent of that would be a load statement with where clause. And in that, I, I, I'll have match function with title as the column. And then I have to supply the values that this column will be compared with. In this case, it's going to be president or VP, or it could be a, a variable. It is important to note, though, that the values that are compared with have to be in the same case. <clears throat> so, in other words, this comparison is case sensitive. And lastly, click return zero if there's, there's no match found. <clears throat> so, Let's explore uh, a real example, shall we? I'm going to jump over to <coughs> excuse me, the previous um, tutorial that we went through um, during um, um, uh, the dual function example. Uh, we, we explored uh, a budget data, and I'm going to show you quickly what that is. So here we have category with uh, amount spent per month and using dual we're showing recurring spend and non recurring spend um, and, and the dollar amount spent for each category so I'm going to use match function to simplify uh, the scripting part of it so as you see here in the script I have an if statement uh, which looks kind of clumsy um, so it, uh, um, how can I rewrite this with match function? <clears throat> in other words, here I'm taking list of categories value and um, then assigning a non-recurring spend or recurring spend um, based on uh, the list or the category value uh, that I have supplied here. So. Let's let's copy this, and I'm going to comment this for now. <clears throat> so we'll start with match here, and the the column that we're comparing the values with this category. So, as you see here, it's going to look much simpler and easy to read by using match function. So, I'm going to list all the values that I'm comparing uh, the category column with. And, okay, one more. bracket here <clears throat> so um, here we have match function and we're taking category column and see if uh, the value in the column is one of those values that I've supplied if so then it's going to be considered non recurring spend otherwise it's recurring spend good enough so we're gonna save this and reload and as you see, it's showing same, same nice little chart here. <clears throat> Cut it up. So you've seen how um, simple this statement is compared to bunch of um, uh, or statements I had within if statement. So that's one usage of match function. <clears throat> Another would be to 
um, control um, number of rows by using it in the load statement with 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 the where clause and how how we do that so uh, let's pretend for a second that we wanted to eliminate or we want to exclude I should say um, teething and donations out of my my budget because that I should do no matter no, no matter what my um, my budget look like so <clears throat> I'm gonna take these two values and go into the where clause here so take the semicolon out <clears throat> I'm gonna put where and then important not because I'm, I'm looking for values they're not one of those two values so again category and let's go back and copy this Sorry. and donations And I misspell category here. Match. <clears throat> there you go. So, what I'm doing here is I'm going to load only. Uh, rows uh, that are not um, uh, categories teething and donations so reload here and you see those two values are gone so one more usage I want to show here is the variable since we said that you know you can also use variable within the uh, the match function what we can do is instead of using or hard coding teething and donation here, I'm gonna cut the copy this and let's create a variable by using variable <coughs> overview. We're gonna add a variable called V exceptions and I'm gonna set those values here. Uh, good enough. Now I will go in and using dollar expansion, I'm going to use the variable exceptions. Nice. So let's save and reload. It's something something wrong here. Notch one, two, oh, um, one more. There you go. Perfect. Let me expand this here so now you can see <clears throat> recurring and non recurring spend um, with the match function we went over again how we can use it in the if statement um, or in the where clause and uh, we also shown how we can use variable to replace values um, so that uh, it, we can use variable in the um, in different sheets and change value simply by going into variable overview rather than hard coding value in um, in different sheets. So 
that's the uh, the power of match function. I hope you liked it. Uh, thank you very much, and take care. Bye bye.